In this video, we're going to talk about some theorems on spans, really important stuff. So theorem. So the first theorem says that if you have a vector, which we'll call u, if this is a linear combination, so linear combination of some other vectors, say v sub 1 to v sub k, and all of these are vectors in Rn, then if you look at the span of u along with these other vectors, This is just the span of the other vectors. So intuitively, um, the span of the set of vectors is the set of all linear uh, combinations of those vectors. So what we're saying here is that if u is in the span, then you can just drop it because u is a linear combination of the other vectors. So if this guy is a linear combo of all of these, then you can just remove it. Okay, You can just uh, completely remove it. Okay, it's called a redundant vector, so u is pretty much uh, redundant. So let's look at a couple corollaries of this theorem. I'm not going to prove any of this stuff, so uh, just some corollaries. The first one says um, if you have zero in a span, you can eliminate it. And that's because zero is always a linear combination of other vectors, right? So if you have zero and then the vectors v sub 1 through v sub k, um, you can just drop the 0. So it goes away. So this is just the span of the vectors v sub 1 to v sub k. Let's look at a, a quick example of this so you see how it works. Um, say we had um, the span of the vectors 0, 0, 0 and then uh, 1, 2, 1. Well, you can just drop the 0 vectors. So this is equal to the span of the vector 1, 2, 1. So whenever you have the 0 vector as an element of a span, um, you're allowed to, to drop it. Right? You can just uh, remove it from the set. 0 is always a redundant vector in a span. So corollary 2. Corollary 2 uh, is very similar. Uh, it basically says uh, if alpha is not equal to 0 and you have the span of the vectors uh, v sub 1 through v sub k, um, this is the same thing as having the span, this one's really useful, of alpha v sub 1 all the way to uh, v sub k. So this is basically saying you can multiply any vector in your span by a non-zero number. So again, super key, super, super powerful stuff. Uh, we'll do an example too once we're done with these corollaries. Um, let's look at an example right away though, a simple one, and then we'll do a harder one later. Let's say we have, um, say we have the vectors uh, 1, 0, 2, comma, and then uh, 0, 4, 6, uh, 0, 0, 4, 0, the span of two vectors here. And let's say I feel like uh, multiplying uh, the first vector by negative 3. I could do that, right? I could do that if I wanted to. I could just simply say, okay, this will be negative 3, 0, negative 6, right? Multiplying each of the components of the first vector, vector by negative 3. And the second one is unchanged. So you're allowed to do that. These spans are actually equal. So you can multiply any vector you want uh, by any non-zero number. And that is OK. The span is unaffected. So that's the second corollary. So recap. Corollary 1, um, you can drop the zero vector whenever you feel like it. Uh, corollary 2, you can multiply any vector by any non-zero number. And let's look at the last uh, corollary of this theorem. So corollary 3, corollary 3, corollary 3 is really key. Uh, it should remind you of um, something like uh, 
reducing reducing a matrix to reduce row echelon forms. It's, it's going to seem reminiscent of that. Um, it says for all alpha, for all alpha, if you have the span of the vectors v sub one to v sub k, this is equal to the span. And what you can do this time is you can take a vector, say v sub one, and add a multiple of v sub two it, of v sub two to it. So um, you could do something like this. I'm forgetting my arrows. Apologies. Uh, and then this would be v sub two, and then v sub k. So you can add any non-zero multiple of one vector to another. So you can multiply a vector by a number and um, add it to another vector. So let's look at a simple uh, example of this. Let's say we have uh, the span. Let's say we have the span of, uh, I don't know, let's see, uh, 1, 1, 0, 0. OK, 1, 1, 0, 0. And then here we have, um, let's say we have uh, about uh, negative 2, negative 2, 0, 0. This is a pretty good example. So what we can do here is we can multiply the first vector by 2 and add it to the second vector. So when you do that, when you do that, what happens, this is a key example here, uh, you keep you keep this first vector, right? Now, we're doing it in our head. So we're multiplying it by 2 and adding it to the second vector. So 2 plus negative 2 is 0. So that goes away. Do the same thing here. You get 0. This is 0 and 0. So look at that. Now you have this span. And now what you can do is you can just drop the 0 vector, right? So this would be the span of uh, 1, 1, 0, 0, right? So look at that. We just took a span and we reduced it to this. And the idea is that this is a redundant vector, right? This vector here is a multiple of this one, so you're allowed to eliminate it, right? So, so pretty cool stuff, pretty cool stuff. Let's do uh, one more example so you see how this works. Um, let's say we have uh, the span of, uh, let's see, say we have, um, I don't know, four, Four zero zero. It's making this up. Um, then we have zero one two zero, and then we have um, I don't know uh, one one zero zero. Just a simple example. So we have three vectors uh, in this span, and let's just uh, clean this span up. Let's rewrite it. All right. Let's rewrite it. Let's remove redundant vectors. So how would we do that? Well, I guess the first step uh, in this example would be to maybe multiply the last vector by negative 4 and add it to the first vector here. So when we do that, we get negative 4 plus 4, it's going to be 0. So this is going to be 0. Then negative 4 plus 4, again, is 0. So we're just going to get the 0 vector here. We keep this one. So 0, 1, 2, 0. And then uh, we still have the last one, so 1, 1, 0, 0. So all we did uh, in this example is we multiplied the last vector by negative 4, added it to the first vector. So now, now this is going to reduce to something even better, right? And we can, we can drop the 0 vector. It's always a redundant vector because it's always a linear combination of the others. So this is 0, 1, 2, 0. And this would be uh, 1, 1, 0, 0. And that's it. We've reduced the span. Um, there's no more redundant vectors, right? These vectors are not multiples of each other because there's a 2 here and there's a 0 here. There's no way to make this work. So that's it. So I hope this video has been helpful. It's shown you how to uh, remove uh, vectors that are linear combinations of others from a span. That's it. Thanks for watching.